hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to cut your corset so if you're interested in this video stay tuned and let's get started all right the first thing i'm going to do is to make a straight line here make a straight line this is going to serve as my shoulder so from there i take my measurement across so i'm going to start by taking my nipple point measurement so from there to my nipple point which is 11, then 15, and then the length, I have 18. So I'll come in a bit and take the same measurement and then use my ruler to make a, a straight line to connect the points together. So as, as you can see, I'm connecting the points So, this line is my nipple point line. Why this is my under bust. This is the waistline, or you call it the, you can call it the length, but well, not really the length, but just the, the length. So, the next thing I will do is to take my shoulder measurement. So, my shoulder is 16, 16 divided by 2, we have 8. So I'm going to mark it from this point, mark it, then I take my one inch for my shoulder slope, this is it, so I'll connect with this, a straight line to the shoulder, so as you can see, how I did my, so the next thing is to get the armhole, how to get your armhole is your boss is your boss divided by 6 plus 1.5 so mine is 8 so i'll mark 8 from that point i'll mark 8 then i'll use my ruler to connect it so this is it this is what we have so as you can see this is just the same thing with your normal basic bodies it's just the same thing So, so the next thing I'm going to do now is to get my new neckline, to get my new neckline. So, I'm going to mark from here downwards, if it depends on how many inches how, um, down you want it, or how low you want it to be. It could be 6 inches, it could be 6.5 or 7 inches, but if you want to show your breast you start from seven inches but my i'll be marking at six inches which is what i just did here so so this is the new neckline this is my new neckline so the next thing i'm going to do is to divide my armhole by two then get the middle and then take the circumference of my bust point, then connect it to that, and then connect them together. So this is it. You come out by half inch here, then you connect. So as you can see, this is just our normal basic bodies. This is just so our normal basic see. bodies. If not even started anything, this so the next thing I'm going to do is to get my nipple to nipple. So my nipple to nipple is eight divided the next by thing I'm going two. To do is four. to mark. So I'm going to mark it on that the waistline, the under so get the, the nipple point, and then the new the neckline. Nipple to nipple, so that's how we're going to do. Four inches. Mark four inches across. The nipple to nipple, which is four inches. Then I'll use my ruler. And then to connect after it. that, I use my ruler to connect the points. So you can see four inches across so i've connected so connect the point so, so the next see. thing to do is from the waistline so the next thing i'm going to do one inch is to on each side mark one inch across this line I'll take one inch across it
so as you, as you see me doing like this i'll take one inch across it on the under balls and on the waistline so i'll use my ruler and on the new neckline i'll do the same thing one inch across it So I'll use my ruler to make a straight line. Then I'll use my my armhole cuff to connect it to the nipple point. As you see me doing like this. So this is it. As you can see. So I do the same thing on the new neckline, connect it to the nipple point. So as you can see, it's already taking its shape. We are going somewhere. So from the nipple point, I'm going to go up by two and a half inches or two inches, depending on how low you want it to be. So I'm going to go up by two and a half inches. That's how low I want mine to be. Then I come out by a half inch. Then I will make a straight line on from there to the underboss point. So as you see me doing like this, if you don't understand what I'm doing, so just watch the video, you understand. So if you don't understand what I'm saying, I mean, you just watch the video, you understand better. So this is it. So this half inch I marked there is just the, the half inch from the two cup, the distance between the two cups. So from here, I'll go up by half inch, then I'll make a straight line across. So this is, this is it. So I'm going to connect from this, from this point to that point. So you see me doing like this. Connect. So this is it. Then from the nipple point, they connect it to that, to this place. So this is it, as you can see, it's already forming. So from here now, you check the distance between the nipple point and the underboss point. Then you have, you add half inch to it, or you can decide to add one inch. So you can decide to add one inch to it, but I'll be using half inch, I'll be adding half inch to it. So I'll connect from this point to, to that point. So, so this is it. So you need to be you need to be careful when you're making your curves. So I've connected it. So I'm going to use my free hand to connect that to to my armhole. But you can dis you can use your ruler if you if you if you want to. Then from that point you connect it to. To this point so this is it as you can see this is our crochet so i'm going to cut this place out i'm going to cut it out so after this the next thing we are going to do is to take our measurements across so my bust is 39 39 divided by by four you mark then you add your allowance of one inch or one and a half inches then for the waistline 32 my waistline is 32 divided by four we have eight and a half then you replace this one inch you took here yeah sorry the two inches we took there you replace them so when you replace you 
think I'll have to extend the lines because I don't think it's enough. So for the waistline, my waist, the waistline is 34, 35 divided by 4, we have 8.5, then you replace your 2 inches you took there, then you add your allowance of 1.5 inches, so that is what we have done. The next thing, we just connect from the, from the armhole down to the waistline, so as you see me doing like this. So this is it. So the next thing I'm going to do is to cut. Next thing I'm going to do is to cut. So watch me as I cut. I know some people might ask why I didn't take the measurement of the underboss. Well, well, that doesn't really matter. I just don't want to take it. But if you want to do yours, like if you want to take yours, you can take yours. It's not a problem, but remember to replace the two inches on the underboss. So this is it. So this is it. So I'm going to number this. This one is side front. Side front number one, so two. So this is, you just have to number it because if not, you will you have difficulties when you want to join it. So this is it. So I'm going to number this. This is center front. This is center front too. All right. So this is what we have. Okay, the next thing I'm going to cut is the back. So the next thing I'm going to use this to cut the back. So the next thing I'll do here is the back of the corset. So this is it. The first thing I'll do is to get this the zipper. I'll be using one and a half for my zipper. So you can decide to use half in uh, sorry one inch or two inches for your zipper. But I'll be using one and a half. So I'll mark one and a half across and then make a straight line. To join the points together but for this cassette I, I won't be needing zipper so I just want to let you guys know or maybe let you make you understand it in case if you want to you make use of zipper so you know how to go about it so this is for my zipper so after after that I'll place the center front on on it to make the point to get the points the point i'm talking about is, is the the underboss point the nipple point the waistline and then the new neckline so these are the points i'm talking about so the next thing I'll do is to use my ruler to make a straight line across those points. So you make a straight line here. And the underboss, you make a straight line. 
we do the same for the nipple point and then the new neckline. So the next thing we are going to do here is to is to get the nipple to nipple. Okay, I just to so get the nipple to nipple. So I'm placing this to be sure that they are equal. So the next thing I will do is to get the nipple to nipple. The nipple to nipple is eight inches, then divided by two. We have four inches, so I'll mark it across the waistline, the underboss, the nipple point, and then the the new neckline. Then you make a straight line so this is what we have here so the next thing is on the waistline you mark half inch across across it then from the new neckline you come down by one inch then you make you connect it with your ruler Listen, if you don't understand what I'm saying, you can just watch the video, you will understand it very well. So this is it. This is what I have here. So the next thing I'll do is to then take the, the measurement across. So my waist, sorry, my bust is 39, that 9 divided by 4, we have 9 three quarter, then you mark 9 three quarter, then add your one and a half allowance or one or two inches or one inch allowance depending on what you are convenient with so for the so for the waist my waist is 34 34 divided by 4 we have 3 point uh, sorry 8.5 you mark it with it. then you replace the one inch for the dots then you add your normal allowance use the ruler to connect so this is what i have so the next thing to do is just to cut so both, because I want the back to be a bit deep, deeper than the than it is now, I'm going to go down by one inch. So make a straight line. So this is what we have. This is what we have here. So I'm going to cut, this is it. So, I'm just showing you what you you will do. So I'm just going to open this up, the dart up. If you don't want the lace to be obvious, you can just mark two inches, three inches from that zipper point. But I'll be taking this out because I want mine to be really obvious. So that is why I'm taking it out. So I'll take this out. I'll only, I'll use just this for the back so 
we are done for this video this is what we have all right so this is what we have this is what we have so please if you've not subscribed to my channel feel free to um subscribe to my channel turn on your notification share this video like this video if you have any question at all of something you don't understand please feel free to ask your question in the comment section and i'll be there to reply so you can also follow our handle our instagram handle you can see it on the screen and see you in our next video bye